grown accustomed to the trace of something in the air, accustomed to I would love to have been the kind of singer who works in a smoke-filled room doing ballads and love songs. What did he say? He said if I, he said if I, be lifted up, be lifted up. And he'd be glad just to be sad, singing with you. Oh, I know. Barbara loved to perform. So whenever we would do these interviews, it was always sort of like, what can I do? The singing and the dancing. I mean, she loved doing that. When I was in college, I wanted to be an actress. But if I was turned down, I would take it so personally. So I forgot being an actress. When Barbara graduated from Sarah Lawrence College, she went to, get this, secretarial school. Secretarial school? Barbara Walters? When you look back on it, I mean, women weren't really expected to have careers back then. A lot of women didn't even work. Her dad had connections in television, so she was able to get a job in publicity as an assistant. Barbara often said she didn't even think she could be on air because she didn't have that perfect little blonde look. I was never beautiful. I would be called pert, attractive. If I'd been a dog, I mean, maybe they wouldn't have put me on television, but I, I, I mean, nobody ever put me on because I was beautiful or glamorous. She'd gotten a job as a writer on a CBS morning show that at the time was hosted by Dick Van Dyke. There was a live piece that involved models of some kind, and one or two of the models did not show up, and they were short a model. I said to a Barbara, you wear the, the uh, outfit. Oh, no, no. I said, you've got to do it. And she went on, and that was her first appearance on network television. It was not a Star is Born moment. It was not a moment when people saw her and said, that woman should be on television. We are in NBC's World Communications Center in the heart of Radio City, New York. Barbara got a job in the Today Show, and she was hired as the only woman writer on the show. She was the woman writer. Not a woman writer. Not a writer who was a woman. The woman writer. They had to have one female writer. She did the fashion shows. She did the celebrities. At one point, I was sent to Paris to cover the Paris fashion shows. That was my first time that I can remember being on the air. Barbara is with me right now to give us a filmed report. Would you tell me, was this a very trying experience for oh, you? Frank, it was awful. I mean, first of all, every day I had to go and look at fashion shows. Oh. And then I had to have lunch at Maxine's and drink champagne. Oh. And then I had to smell all the perfume at Dior. Oh. I mean, it was so trying that I took absolutely the very last plane I could to get back here. I look at it now and I think, I really was cute. I really was good. Why did it take anybody so long to discover me? Hugh Downs hosted the Today Show, and he always had a female sidekick called the Today Girl. Well, there was an opening, and Hugh suggested Barbara. I felt she belonged on the air. I really did. I said, why don't we develop our own talent instead of getting a star from another medium? And they said, such as. And I said, such as Barbara Walters. And they said, she's a writer. And I said, I know she's a writer, but she's good looking and she's smart, and I think she'd do very well on the air. And so they said, OK. She was doing these frivolous uh, segments on the air, and that's all the men would let her do for a while. We're going to be talking about something very feminine right now, fashion. This year, vinyl is the most exciting new fashion fabric. It was the prevalence of pants. If I don't come back and finish up alone, dry deodorant, the antiperspirant deodorant. I did commercials for a dog food, live, and the dog I think we used to starve it, I don't know. Let me give him his food and then we'll talk. Dogs all over America will surely be getting a lot more pressure. That is not my proudest hour. Try this. This is Revlon's Natural Herb Cream Gel Cleanser. As the Today reporter, I did several stories. One was a day in the life of a playboy bunny. What is the bunny dip? You think you could show me? Let me try. Yes, I think I could show you. Throw your weight on your right leg. Oh, and so come out and take your glass from your tray and back to the table. It's like a ballet movement, kind yes. of. Yes. President Kennedy has been shot in Dallas, Texas. Everything changed in Barbara's career after the assassination of John F. Kennedy. 
The Kennedy assassination, for all its awfulness in real life, was a professional opportunity for Barbara. One group of young men kept a very special vigil. These are the honor guards who... NBC poured all of its resources into it. She got more airtime than she ever had before. After some time, Barbara was given a promotion to sit next to Hugh Downs in the anchor chair. But very important to note that in those days there was no female co-host, so she was not given that title. Why? Because in those days there was no such thing as a co-host who was a woman. No one would imagine that a woman would deserve it or that a woman could approach the stature of a co-host. I'm Hugh Downs. This is Barbara Walters. Barbara Walters and I. Barbara Walters and I. We continue now with Barbara Walters. Barbara and Hugh were a great team. But Hugh left the show in 1971, and then Frank McGee took over. Good morning. I'm Frank McGee, and Barbara Walters is here. Frank McGee went to the head of the network and said the hard news questions. They all had to be done by him. And what they finally decided to do was that he could ask three questions, and then I could come in and ask one. Or if I could do the interview outside of the studio, it was mine. So I started to look for interviews outside of the studio. Barbara would interview everybody. She would talk to Judy Garland. What are you the least tolerant of these days? Uh, the least tolerant of any more lies or foolishness about me. She would talk to Henry Kissinger. Mr. Secretary, this brings up one of the criticisms about you too. And she held her own. People say Henry Kissinger deals in excessive secrecy. And she honed those skills as an interviewer that would make her so special down the road. Barbara did very good work at the Today Show for more than nine years, but was still a second banana. Her lawyer had put a clause in her contract that said if the host position became vacant, she would get it. This morning, we mourn the death of our dear friend and our most respected colleague, Frank McGee. Frank McGee died, and she became one of the hosts of the Today Show. She got the title that she'd really earned over nine years. From then on, I think up to today, the women on the morning shows are co-hosts. That's a nice legacy to have. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.